Welcome back everyone, it's Charlie. The Stranger Things account just posted a new Season 5 teaser. We've already gotten a couple of Season 5 teasers, so we'll break it all down. There's a bunch of Easter eggs and the Duffers have talked a little bit about what's actually happening during the season. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. Netflix does have some other big stuff coming up too, like they have the Avatar The Last Airbender live action series. And after the strong showing from the One Piece Netflix series, I am a little bit more hopeful that their live action anime can be pretty decent. The brand new Stranger Things Season 5 teaser is basically the utter destruction of the Scoops ice cream store in the mall that Steve and Robin used to work at. Zoom in and Hans here, you can spot the board that she was using to make fun of him, telling him all the reasons that he sucked. The reason why they released this as a teaser is probably just to hype up Vecna's utter destruction of Hawkins in the surrounding area because basically he ripped a giant hole through the entire town that's now open to the upside down. So like all of his creatures are spilling out of it right now. Most of the damage in each of the seasons so far has been localized to a couple specific areas in town. Even when the reactor blew, they fought the Thessal Hydra inside the mall during season five, like that finger puppet that was being controlled by Vecna. They didn't blow up the entire mall, like it wasn't blown to smithereens, they just damaged part of it. The other big teaser is just for more Vecna coming for Eleven, just taunting her using his psychic powers. They've already revealed most of what's going on with him, just in general, his backstory during season four. He's meant to be the original Hawkins experiment number one. Dr. Brenner found him and experimented on him after discovering he killed his entire family and had been locked up even though the police at the time had blamed his father for the murders. Dr. Brenner then discovers some of the other children starting to develop powers like Eleven and brings them to the facility starts experimenting on them too. There were some earlier theories about why the kids started developing powers in the first place in experiments that Dr. Brenner was doing, but because Henry, the Vecna character, developed powers long before Dr. Brenner's experiments started, it implies everybody started developing powers for completely different reasons, which they haven't fully explained yet. Then Henry, Vecna's real name, tricks Eleven into removing his power dampener. He unleashes his full power, killing most of the other children at the facility, and Eleven uses her powers to push him into another dimension, which becomes the Upside Down. I know there were a lot of questions about what was going on here. Basically, the Upside Down used to just be this sort of like formless area, this other dimension that he uses to form into the Upside Down the way you think of it when you see it. He basically used his powers to control the organic life forms there and reshape things to his will. It's his obsession with Hawkins that causes him to make the Upside Down look like a copy of Hawkins. Here's the twist though. This is where we get to the Will character because the Duffer was like, oh yeah, Will's gonna be critical to defeating Vecna during season five. He'll be like one of the biggest characters next to Eleven. When Will Byers is captured by the Demogorgon and taken to the Upside Down, the moment that that happens, the Upside Down gets frozen in a Groundhog's Day situation trapped repeating the same day over and over, November 6, 1983. That was the day that he was captured. They haven't revealed exactly what Will did, like if he has any special powers and what happened when he entered the Upside Down that caused it to be trapped in a time loop, but that will probably be the key to them defeating Vecna. I like the idea that this character actually births the events and then restarts the events. This is kind of, I think it's kind of like a time loop element that I think is very interesting. The other big thing with Will's character is they just said that he would finally come out to the rest of his friends. Like it's a big culmination of his arc. Like it's all about this weird power they've been teasing that he has. And he's kind of been in the background the past couple of seasons. Like they haven't answered that many Will questions. Then they also teased him coming out to his friends in season four, but didn't quite do that. He'll finally do that during season five. The other big thing they just teased was Linda Hamilton joining the series as a new character with Arnold Schwarzenegger because they were playing on all the Terminator tropes, doing a big introduction for her. That my old friend, a fantastic actress, a badass, is joining the Netflix family. She sent a video, and I want you to watch this video. Hasta la vista. I am Linda Hamilton, and I am so excited to share this news with you. I'm joining the cast for Stranger Things 5. I'll see you in Hawkins. They didn't say exactly who she's playing, but the show's whole thing is playing on 80s movies, TV shows, and music. The original Terminator movie, still a classic. Even though technically, when people remember Linda Hamilton is this badass from the Terminator movies, is for her performance in Terminator 2, and that was released in the early 90s. So like we're spilling into the early 90s here, even though Stranger Things is mostly like an 80s kind of thing. This also kind of happened with the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Like most of their music wound up being 70s music, but then they started spilling into 80s music in the later sequels. Right now, my expectation without seeing more footage or more teasers for her, I think she'll play one of the local people who might have a connection with Vecna in the past before he became Vecna. 
In real life, she's a little too old to play Vecna's sister because the series takes place in the 80s. Vecna was born in the 40s, meaning in present day he'd be in his 40s and his younger sister was much younger than him. But she'll probably wind up helping the group kill Vecna. And the other big thing too, they said, the difference between this season and previous seasons is that the entire group will be back together. Whereas like in season four, they were split between Russia and Hawkins. It's the same type of progression that they had in the Game of Thrones series where like all the characters start relatively locally close together. Then slowly as the series gets bigger and bigger, they get pushed further and further apart until towards the end of the series, like after the climax, they all start to converge on each other again. So that when shit really goes down, like the big final battle, they're all there at the same place. They revealed the title of Stranger Things Season 5 Episode 1 will be The Crawl. Most people are assuming this is a Dungeons and Dragons reference and so much of the series trades on Dungeons and Dragons tropes and it's all about dungeon crawling, like navigating through a dungeon, which in the case of Season 5, especially at the beginning of the season, could just be them navigating through all the craziness that's happening here with the tear in reality to the other dimension of the Upside Down. Let's do this, Leroy! That'll basically be like one of the first things they did to address at the beginning of season five. Like, oh my God, there's a giant hole to another dimension right through the middle of town. Basically a hell on earth situation. Kind of like a Ghostbusters situation where the upside down just comes spilling out into Hawkins. They'll probably start the season with Max still in her coma at the beginning of the season. The Duffers are pretty clear though. She's still alive. It's kind of like her consciousness is just trapped outside of her body. So maybe, you know, early theory, Eleven might wind up using her powers to fix that situation and make her conscious again. Her powers seem like they keep growing season by season as she gets older and she's still a kid right now. I think the idea is that ultimately she'll be more powerful than Vecna if she isn't already. Part of the idea is that before the beginning of season one, she pushed Vecna into the other dimension. So she's already super powerful, but she kind of created this mental block. So that's why she wasn't quite as powerful at the beginning of the series as she is later in the series. Kind of like a Grogu and Mandalorian situation where like Grogu trains at the Jedi Temple before Order 66, then he experiences all this trauma and cuts himself off from the Force and he becomes less powerful until Luke Skywalker trains him again and helps him remember all these abilities that he has. They did say that they would reference Eddie like they would pay tribute to him, but he's not coming back to life or anything like that. Maybe there'll be a flashback or two with him, but for the most part, he's still meant to be dead in present day. There will also probably be more Dr. Brenner flashbacks just to provide more context and more untold story for what's going on with Vecna and Eleven. The other big thing the Duffers are doing right now is they're developing a spinoff sequel show. They didn't say which characters it would follow, but season five is supposed to be the end of the main story with Eleven and Vecna. Right now, based on what Millie Bobby Brown, some of the cast have been saying, it seems pretty clear that the spinoff show won't be about her, like she's ready to move on to other stuff. And it won't be about Hopper because David Harbour was also pretty clear that he's also ready to move on. So without more information about it, right now my assumption is it'll probably be about totally new characters that they just teased during season 5, people we haven't really learned that much about yet. And some of the current main characters will just cross over onto that occasionally, like Steve, Robin, Lucas, Max, Nancy, maybe some of the others, some of the mains, but not all of them. Although I think that Netflix would love to have Millie Bobby Brown show up in the first episode of that, just because she's their big star for the main show. Even though the series' whole thing is trading on 80s vibes, and one of the big things in 80s slasher movies is that they end with some kind of jump scare showing that the killer is still alive, but it feels like they want to have a legit ending for this Vecna storyline. So I think they want to end things with them legit getting rid of him. Maybe not necessarily killing him, but ending the threat of Vecna for good. And I think the vast majority of characters will get some kind of happy ending. Like they won't fake out, kill Hopper again. Like he'll end the series being alive. He'll get some kind of happy ending. Eleven will get a happy ending. Then they might tease some new threat from some other kid that develops powers or something like that. Something related to all the different powers that people are developing that goes on to this spinoff series. They delayed season five because of the strikes. Most people assumed originally it would release December 2024 because a while ago, one of the cast members said it would be out by his 22nd birthday and that would put it right at December 2024. But that was before the strikes happened. Right now, I would not expect it to release before summer 2025, but once the strike stuff gets figured out, expect the Stranger Things writers to start teasing season five, the same way they spent all that time between season three and season four, teasing all the new episodes with all kinds of information. Post all your predictions in the comments below. When do you think that they'll fix Max in the first couple episodes, and how do you think they'll stop the Vecna character? They'll probably release another teaser for season five pretty soon. Of course, I'll do more videos when they release more footage, more information. My Ahsoka episode five video will post next. Be sure to enable alerts for my channel so you don't miss that. Click here for that video. I'll update the link as soon as I post that. And click here for my One Piece Netflix season two video. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one.